Hello, my name is Chance Bingham. I'm a technical marketing engineer at NetApp, and I wanted to make this quick video to walk you through installing the new ONTAP Tools 10.1 for VMware vSphere, especially since it is a bit different from the ONTAP Tools 9 experience. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Before we start, we've already uploaded the ONTAP Tools OVA to our content library. Now, this is a required step, and I'll explain why that is in just a moment. Let's deploy our new ONTAP Tools appliance from the content library. We'll call it HA Small and deploy it into the desired folder. Next, we'll select our compute resources. Review the details and click Next. Carefully read the license agreement, accept the terms, and click Next. Here, we'll choose the type of configuration we plan to deploy. As you might have guessed, we're going with HA Small for the demo. Click Next. Select the data store and click Next again. On the Select Networks page, we need to select a VM port group that has access to ONTAP data lifts, where we will store the persistent configuration data. ONTAP Tools internally uses RKE2 Kubernetes with Astra Trident for persistent storage management. So your VVOLS config is always protected on the array itself. On the customized template screen, there are a lot of inputs to supply, and it's important to pay attention to what input goes into what field. If you will use autosupport, and you should, if you need to deploy a proxy to access the internet, be sure to enter that here. We'll go ahead and fill in the usernames and passwords. I'm going to skip the NTP servers for this lab, but in practice, you should enter your NTP servers always. Next, we're going to supply five IP addresses for the appliances to use and the storage configuration for Astra Trident. First, the load balancer IP that the internal hidden Kubernetes cluster uses for load balancing. Then the virtual IP for the Kubernetes control plane. Here, we're going to choose iSCSI as the protocol for Trident. The IP for the management lift, the data lift, and the SVM name, since we are using a cluster scoped IP in this case, and the admin user credentials. Since this is the first VM, we are going to leave this checked. And next, give the content library name. The reason we have a mandatory content library is because we are deploying a three node cluster of ONTAP Tools appliances. After the first one is deployed, it will automatically deploy nodes two and three from the content library. Next, we must give it the vCenter credentials to actually deploy nodes two and three. After the vCenter credentials, we supply the last three of the five IPs used by ONTAP tools, starting with the hostname and IP configuration for node one. Now, for nodes two and three, since those are expected to be on the same subnet, we use the same subnet mask and gateway as node one. Now we can move forward, review our inputs and click finish. Once the VM is deployed, Go ahead and power it on. From there, it will configure itself. Deploy nodes two and three from the content library and join them together to form the ONTAP Tools high availability cluster. That wraps up this video. I hope you found this helpful and we'll see you in the next video.